Hey guys, this is Rabbit Hedgehog from Flirpool.com, and today I wanted to go over some basics of the Mac. And this tutorial will be best for um, anyone who is moving from PC to the Mac, or anyone who is new to computers in general, or you know the Mac, uh, the whole system. Um, Mac is actually incredibly simple and useful operating system. It's really easy to do almost anything as soon as you get all the basics down. At first it might seem kind of confusing because it's very different from the from PC. For example, here we have the dock, the menu bar, and the file system, the file structure and system is completely different. So, first let's go over the dock. By default, the dock is actually always up um, it always looks like this, but I have it set up so that whenever you br uh, bring your cursor to the bottom of the screen, it just pops up like that. So here we have the Finder. The Finder is essentially um, a program that allows you to, well, it's essentially Windows Explorer in the PC world, which means it it's, you know, my documents or my computer or my pictures or it's, you know, it's just how you find everything on your computer. Here we have on the left, shortcuts. Here's the desktop, which is everything that can also be viewed on my home screen here. This is essentially my documents. Um, the user, or it'll usually have your username right there. I just have it set as user right currently. Your desktop, documents, downloads, library, pics, music, movies, all your media. The next one is called applications. All of your applications are stored in this folder. They're not in some obscure location like on PC, they're in like, you know, C drive, program files, or stuff like that. They're actually all in this folder. On Mac, an application is, um, unlike PC, just a single, appears just to be a single file. So therefore, if I wanted to delete a program, all I have to do is select the program, right click it, and choose move to trash and your app is deleted. If you want to remove something out of the trash, go to the trash here and just drag it right back out. This is not something new for PC users, but however the whole system of applications and programs is completely different because on PC you have to go through an entire uninstaller in order to uninstall a program. Other shortcuts include documents, which is um, actually documents and applications are really just inside your My Documents folder, which is called your username. Here we have applications and documents. You can search for any previous program or file or or stuff like that. Here's your C drive or Macintosh hard drive here. But that's kind of advanced. And you can also set up a network in between your other Macs or PCs. Now let's quit Finder. By the way, if you have any program open, this is the equivalent of the close button. This is the equivalent of minimize. And this is maximize. However, uh, well, it's not actually maximize. Um, it's actually quite different from the PC. As you can see, pressing this button does not uh, maximize it. It only uh, changes its size to the previous size that you had it set as. On some programs, you can hold down the Option or Alt key and press Option and press this and it will go bigger, such as in iTunes. However, here, um, you just have to drag it. This is one of the flaws of the Mac, and I think they can definitely uh, make that much better, but until then, all you have to do is drag to make a window bigger. To close, you can do Command W, or to quit. Um, that's just to close the window. As you can see here, 
in iTunes, I can make the window smaller, hold down Option, click it, and it'll make it full size again. Now on Mac, to close something, um, you may see that all you do is click this button. However, in the menu bar, which is essentially the uh, the top bar of any program in PC is always set in this top bar here even if you don't have any program open. Therefore if you open iTunes all the file, edit, and all those menu items are stuck on and fixed on the top of the screen no matter where you move the window. So back to closing. If you close something, as you can see here, iTunes is actually still open. The only thing you've actually done is close the window. Now you have to, if you want to end the process or completely end the program, you can either go to iTunes, quit iTunes, or you can simply do a command Q, and it should quit iTunes. Um, the menu bar up here is um, also very similar to the task bar. And, uh, you can see the time, you can search, through Spotlight. You can see your battery level if you're using a MacBook or iBook, volume, airport or Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, time machine, which is an advanced um, backup tool if I have my external hard drive connected, and any other programs that you might have running, such as Facebook, Stuff for Expander, temperature for your CPU components, and other ones. Now let's change some of our properties, or system preferences, which is usually located in the, in the home bar. If not, you can always search it, system preferences, and it should show up. Let's set up expose and spaces. As you can see here, I have it set up so that if you touch the top left corner of the screen, it will set up spaces. Essentially, spaces is um, kind of like a bento box allows you to organize all of your windows. As you can see I can drag windows in between each space. Here on the bottom left corner I have all windows so I can just touch this and I'll show all the windows that are open at the current moment. So if I were to open up Safari and Camino I can just touch this corner and it'll show all of them. Then I can choose back and select them. Here I have Start Screen Saver. You can set this to anything really. Put Display to Sleep, Dashboard, Desktop, Spaces again. That's just my screen saver. And here I have Put Display to Sleep. Most commonly though, you have a dashboard set up in which you have little widgets that can be fun or useful or just you know regular old tools like Calendar, Translation, Notes, Screen Capture, Calculator, Weather, etc. And keep in mind that the command key is almost identical to the control key in PC. And that's it for the first Mac tutorial. This is Rabbit Hedgehog from football.com and thanks for watching.